Lift up your voice wherever you are and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Go ahead and worship your maker. Just give him glory. The God that has the power to bring down one and to lift up another. The God that can take somebody from the pit and set him on the mountain top. God that can take you from some, some nothing and make you a hero. Bless his holy name. Just worship him. Because he has not finished with you, that is why you are alive. He said we are not consumed because of his mercy. Go ahead and bless him. Bless him tonight. Tonight is somebody's night of an encounter with destiny. Oh, give him glory. Give him glory. There's somebody that just came, but it is not you that brought yourself. One chapter is about to be closed in your life, and God is about to open another chapter. Jehovah is his name. The Bible said he stays in heaven and he does as he pleases him. Bless his holy name. He is the most high God. The God that is higher than all. He is bigger than the biggest. He is greater than the greatest. The rock of ages. The I am that I am. The God that rises in the winds of the winds. God with whom nothing is impossible. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Go ahead and worship him. Worship your maker. Just worship him. Just worship him. Just worship him. Bless him. Bless him. Thank him for bringing you here. Because you are not going to go back the same. You are about to have an encounter. You are about to have an experience of your life that you never forget. The Lord is about to move you to the next level of your life. Go ahead, give him glory, give him honor. Just worship him. Ancient of days, as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never see. Jesus 
and lift the name of the Lord on high. Go ahead and give him glory. Go ahead and bless his holy name. Just worship him. Just worship him. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be adored. King of kings, the Lord of lords, the God of all gods. The God that will reign forever. He's the Alpha, he's the Omega. Bless his holy name. Rambali Abashindakaboshindaba Libruskaba Bless his holy name. Just go ahead and worship him. Go ahead and worship him. Glory, glory be to the holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we have worship. There's somebody here tonight, the Lord says, Say the door that the enemy locked against you for long has been opened tonight. The Lord said there is somebody here. What has been impossible for you to achieve in the past years? He said, get ready before the end of this month. It shall become possible. The Lord said there is somebody. The good virtue that he created you with. That was swallowed by the enemy has been vomited back to you tonight. <laughs> Lord, we give you glory. There's somebody, the Lord says, after these three days, you've been crawling before, but I will move you to fly. Lord, we bless your name. There's somebody here, the Lord says, no matter how the enemy try this year, their best effort shall be frustrated. Oh God, we give you glory. The Lord said there is somebody here. The hand that held you down for so long has been cut off. It has been cut off. Lift up your voice and say, Father, Every evil garment that the enemy has put upon me, that has been covering my glory, that has been stagnating my life, I command you to catch fire. Open your mouth and pray that prayer now. Every garment of shame, every garment of disappointment, every garment of sorrow, every garment of poverty, open your mouth and say, Father, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, let them be consumed. I can't hear you. That garment that is covering your glory, command it to catch fire. Command it to catch fire. Open your mouth, open your mouth and pray. Zandaka holy abush in In Jesus' mighty name, we oh pray. They don't say there's somebody here. All the wounds that the enemy inflicted on you. He said, starting from now, I will heal you of all. Yeah. Somebody here, the Lord says, anybody that will attempt to speak evil to your destiny, he said, that person will receive the judgment of death. Yeah. Lift up your voice and say, Father, every strong man, Assigned to ridicule my life, I command you to die. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. I can't hear you tonight. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead and talk to the Lord. Whoever is that strong man, challenge him by fire, challenge him by the authority. 
of the Holy Ghost. By the power that is in the name of Jesus. By the power that is in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The hardest power to fight and overcome is the power of the Father's house. That the powers that makes people useless, that holds people down, not to become anything. So get ready to pray. Lift up your voice and say, Father, every vulture of my father's house, contending with my inheritance, stagnating my life, feeding on my destiny, I command you to die. Open your mouth and pray tonight. Open your mouth and pray tonight. That is it. That is it. Kill the vultures of your father's house. Whoever represents that evil vulture, Witches and wizards in your father's house, occult powers, open your mouth and say, Father, vultures of my father's house, receive the judgment of death by the power that is in the name of Jesus. By the power that is in the name of Jesus, open your mouth, open your mouth. Pray concerning your foundation. Many problems we are carrying, why we are not shining, why you are stagnated, is because of our foundation. Go back to your foundation. Release the fire of the Holy Ghost. Mention your father's compound. Mention your mother's compound. Any power at all that is holding you bound, let the Almighty God arise tonight by the power that is in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we oh pray. Many of us are nothing because of the depths, spiritual depths that our parents are owing. Generational liabilities. Anytime you want to move forward, that will remind them what your fathers did, what your mothers did. And they will demand that you pay that debt. So when people are moving forward, they are stagnated. You will settle that now. Nah. Lift up your voice and say, Father, every generational liability that I am carrying upon my head. I command it to expire by the power that is in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. I say open your mouth and pray tonight. Open your mouth. Yes, 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 yes. Anything at all that the enemy is presenting before you. I say your father did this. Pay them with the blood of Jesus. Any debt required from me tonight, I put it in the account of the blood of Jesus. Go ahead and talk to the Almighty God. Go ahead and talk to the Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. It's not that you are not hard working, but many of us will struggle so much at the verge of breakthrough, something happens. And we begin to say, What is happening? At times we cut the, the, the tree from the stem, but tonight we are going into the foundation. Lift up your voice and say, Father, every glory killer of my father's house that is stagnating my life, I command you to die. Open oh, your mouth and pray a prayer. Aha, 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 aha. I can't hear you. 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 Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God tonight. We have come to pray. We must pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Yes, we are warming up. But we have not got into how I want us to pray tonight. But we will get there. I will read from the Bible, Zechariah chapter 1. I read from verse 18. Then lift up my eyes and saw, and behold, four horns. Any animal that has a horn, the horn is his instrument of warfare. 
So he's talking about the horns of the enemy. And what does this horn do? The Bible says, And I said unto the angel that talked with me, What be these? And he answered me, These are the horns which have scattered Judea, Israel, Jerusalem. These are the horns that scattered personal people's destiny. These are the horns that scattered the destiny of a whole family. And these are the horns that scatters the church. That is the representation of those three things. Verse 20, And the Lord showed me four carpenters, the divine carpenters that are standing beside you. Then said I, what come this to do? And he spake, saying, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, so that no man did lift off his voice, his head. They remain at zero level. No matter how they struggle, there's a ceiling upon their head. But we have come to tear that ceiling. So, but these are come to free them, to cast out the horns of the Gentiles that shall be cast out tonight, which lift up their horns over the land of Judah to scatter it. Lift up your voice and say, Father, every horn of Satan that is scattering my life, that is scattering my destiny, I cut you to pieces. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Every instrument of warfare available to my enemy, Father, I destroy it. It might be an evil pronouncement, it might be an evil arrow. It might be an evil javelin. It might be an incantation. It might be a cause. It might be a divination. It might be an enchantment. That horn of Satan that is fighting against your life, fighting against your destiny, lift up your voices and say, Father, I cut them to pieces by the power that is in the name of Jesus, by the power that is in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. How does this horns operate? They make sure that nobody in the community, nobody in the family, lift up his head. They always constrain them to operate at zero level. But four divine carpenters came. And what did they come to do? To cast away or cast out the horns of darkness. Lift up your voice and say, Father, every cause of limitation issued upon my head that will not allow me to lift up my head in life I command you to break or you break that course I say break that course I say break that course I say break that course I can't hear you I say break that course command it to break command it to break command it to break yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord command it to break command it to break that is it Power of God, move. Power of God, move. Yes, 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 yes. Command it to break. Open your mouth. Every cause of limitation, every cause of hardship, every cause of suffering, every cause of struggling. Open your mouth and decree. Father, they are broken to pieces. Father, power that is in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And so the, whole, the four carpenters, they have come to cast out the horns of darkness. Pray this prayer. Say, Father, let your power go to the foundation of my life. Anything you have not created me with that is working against my life, let it be uprooted tonight. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I can't hear you. Approach disappointment, approach failure, approach stagnation. Oh, I can't hear you, I can't hear you. The violence taken in by force. Violence is recognized in the spiritual realm. Except you are violent spiritually. You cannot possess your position. By the power that is in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth and pray. By the power that is in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Lift up your voice and say, Father, any evil man that is manipulating my life with demonic powers, Father, let that person die. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. A witch or wizard 
can manipulate their life. No matter how you struggle, they will program failure. A native doctor, if they report your case to him, can make sure if he, if he calls you in his port, he will decide concerning your destiny. But this is a decree. Nobody, nobody, any power that is manipulating my life negatively, let the power die. Let the power die. Let the power die. By the power that is in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lift up your voice and say, Father, any evil altar that the enemy has built for my sake, and they are calling my name on that altar for evil. They are sacrificing blood against my destiny on that altar. You evil altar. Hear the word of the Lord tonight. Catch fire. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Any altar that they are calling you, that they are mentioning your name for hardship. Command that altar to catch fire. Command that altar to catch fire. Withdraw your picture. Withdraw your spirit. Withdraw whatever they are using as a point of contact in that altar. By the power that is in the name of Jesus. By the power that is in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, talk to the Lord. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lift up your voice and say, Father, any evil hand that is holding on to my blessing tonight. I cut you to pieces. Or oh, you begin to cut. 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 Anything that belongs to you. That the enemy is holding. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Cut to pieces. Cut to pieces. Any hand. Holding on to your possession. Let our hand with that tonight. Anything that belongs to you. That the enemy has taken. Oil by fire by thunder. Let those places catch fire. Let your possession come back to you. In Jesus mighty name for prayer. I will tell you a story. You know the importance of that prayer. A sister was working in a bank. Receiving quiet a huge amount of money every, every month. But before the second week after he will receive salary, she will begin to borrow money. So when she came, he gave her this prayer point. Anybody feeding on your destiny, let the person die. Any evil hand holding on to anything that belongs to you, cut it to pieces. That very day she went to the kitchen, came out in the night to the sitting room, and was cutting with knife. She was praying in Lagos. The grandmother in Calabar was shouting. She's cutting me, she's killing me, and physical blood was coming out of her body. And they said, Mama, what happened? Why is she killing you? Say, ah, it's her wealth that I used to get promotion in the witchcraft couple. Anybody that is troubling you shall be cut off. So lift up your voice and say, Father, any evil vulture. That is hidden on my destiny. Receive fire and die. Only evil hand. Holding on to my blessings. I cut you to pieces. Oh yeah? Begin to cut. Begin to cut. Begin to cut. Go ahead. Go ahead. Begin to cut. 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 That is it. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we oh pray. Point your right hand to the heavens and declare after me. Say, O oh ye heavens, hear ye the word of the Lord. Tonight, release my blessings. Release my miracles. Any strong man fighting with my angels of blessing, receive thunder and die. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Whatever you want the heavens to release unto you, Mention them, mention them. Go ahead. Let the heavens release their blessings.
I can't hear you. Talk to the Lord. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lift up your voice and say, Father, every calendar of darkness that has been rolled out in this month of February to punish me, I will catch fire. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. If they have designed that on the 10th of February, something will happen. Command that calendar of darkness to catch fire. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God, let it catch fire. Let it catch fire, let it catch fire. By the power that is in the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. When the situation was too much for Haggard to handle, the Bible said they placed her son afar. He came somewhere and said, I don't want to see the child die. She lifted up her voice and cried. And she heard a voice from heaven and said, Haggard, what troubles you? What LHD? The Lord is asking you the same question. Lift up your voice and say, Father, I cannot help myself. Please send help to me from above. Go ahead and talk to the Almighty God. Every help you need from Him, settle it with Him tonight. Settle it, settle it with Him tonight. Please cry unto the Lord. This is the second month of the year. Two stands for double. The Lord will grant you double. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. The woman that ate her son cried to the king and said, Oh, king, help me. And the king says, From where will I help you if God does not help you? Please talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. King of glory will bless you. The God that reigns forever will worship you. The God that is an expert in promoting people. And Lord of my God, we have gathered again, looking unto you, the source of our help. My Lord of my God, do not forsake us. As many that will walk into this auditorium these three days, may their life never remain the same. And make it the mind of God's mercy, your, your, your desire will become urgent in heaven. And after these three days, people will see you and ask for your God. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Let's turn our Bible quickly to First Samuel chapter 16. We are still going to pray because we have come to pray. Just small exhortation and we're going to the second round of prayers. First Samuel chapter 16. Begin to read from verse 1. If you came with your Bible, shout hallelujah. If you didn't come with your Bible, say God will have mercy. Praise the Lord. It's just like going to the farm without cutlass and you want to weed grass. First Samuel chapter 16, I begin to read from verse 1. And the Lord said unto Samuel, How long will them mourn for Saul, seeing I have rejected him from ruling, reigning over Israel? May the Lord not reject you. May the Lord not reject your prayer. So fill the horn with oil and go out. I, I will send thee to Jesse the Bethlehemite, for I have provided me a king among his sons. And someone said, How can I go? If so, hear it, he will kill me. And the Lord said, Take an high with thee, and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. And call Jesse to the sacrifice, and I will show thee what thou shalt do. And thou shalt anoint unto me him whom I shall, whom I name unto thee. And Samuel did that which the Lord spake, and came to Bethlehem, and the 
elders of the city trembled at his coming and said, Come out there peacefully. And he said, Peacefully, I have come to sacrifice unto the Lord. Sanctify themselves and come with me to the sacrifice. And he sanctified Jesse and his sons and called them to the sacrifice. And it came to pass when they were come that he looked at Eliab and said, Surely the Lord's anointed is before him. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or on his height, the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth, for man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. Then Jesse called Abinadad and made him pass before Samuel. And he said, Neither has God chosen this. Then Jesse made Shammah to pass by. And he said, Neither has God chosen this. And Jesse made seven of his sons to pass before Samuel. And Samuel said unto Jesse, The Lord has not chosen these. And Samuel said unto Jesse, And hear all the children. And he said, There remaineth yet the youngest. And behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Send and fetch him, for we will not sit down till he comes hither. And he sent and brought David in. None he was ready and withered of a beauty countenance, and goodly to look to. The Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel arose up and went to Ramah. Praise the Lord. From zero to hero. From nobody to somebody. The account we just read, we read about a young boy called David. The Bible tells us that among his brethren, he was called a non-entity. They never valued him. That is why the younger, the elder ones will be at the sitting room, either watching the TV, eating good foods, and they will constrain him to the bush to look at the animals. Meaning, even if the animal devour him, you are not going to lose him. I pray for you. Everybody that have mocked you will come to rejoice with you. Everybody that has looked down on you will also come to look up to you. In the name of Jesus. And the Bible looks, spoke to the prophet. He says, I have rejected the king that is reigning over Israel and I want to replace him. So he go to Bethlehem and I will show you what to do. And when he came to the house of Jesse, the seven first sons were positioned. That is to tell us that our location does not determine our divine allocation from God. They were positioned well. And when this man of God came, he looked at the first one because he was answered and said, this would have been him. But God told him, said, no, I have refused this. The second one, the third one, up to the seventh one. And the prophet was confused. He looked at Jesse and said, are all these your children? He said, the youngest one is inside the bush. He keeps animal. We didn't send him to school because we don't know. We have written him off. I don't know whether that is their situation. The younger ones has money. They don't have a say in the family. But the almighty God that has brought you here will pick you from the valley where you are and will set you at a mountain top in the name of Jesus. And the prophet looked at Jesse and said, you have to send for this boy. Even if he's going to take us five hours, we will not sit. <laughs> Who are the we? The prophet was standing. Jesse was standing. The seven sons were standing. But most importantly, the almighty God that sent him on errand was standing in heaven and said, until mission accomplished, I am not going to sit. So if God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, we are standing in heaven, who is that angel to sit? Who is that sent to sit? For one small boy, the heaven stood still. God suspended everything he wanted to do because somebody's time came to be honored. It is your turn to be honored. It is your turn to be lifted up. In the name of Jesus, every prayer you pray tonight, the Lord will suspend whatever he's doing and he will answer your prayer. In the name of Jesus, the heaven and the earth stood still because time came for David 
to be remembered. This is a time of divine remembrance. You would have suffered loss. You would have suffered defeat. You would have not made it in the past. But by the reason of the anointing I carry tonight, I decree there shall be a change. I said there shall be a change. I said there shall be a change. Anybody that has constrained you to the bush, you are making your way to the palace. You are making your way to the throne. No matter what Saul will do, he will not get to you. No matter the strong man that will pursue you, he will not get to you. So shall he be. So shall he be. In the name of Jesus. We didn't know whether it was five hours. It would have been ten hours. They were standing because of one small boy. Heaven stood still. People on earth stood still. And immediately David entered. He has not taken his bath. He just came back from the bush. And God spoke to the prophet. Say, Arise. Anoint him for he is he. From today I want to take him from zero level. And I want to make him my hero. And the Bible said in the midst of his brethren. He poured the oil upon him. And said thou say the Lord. You are not going to suffer in the bush anymore. You are not going to risk your life in the bush anymore. I anoint you to become king over my people Israel. I pray for you. The almighty God will stretch forth his hand and touch you tonight. And when the Lord touches you tonight, he will grant you divine speed. You will pursue people that are ahead of you. You will meet up with them. You will overtake them. In the name of Jesus. I told them on watch night day that while I was ministering, I saw a cloud dotted with fire. And the Lord spoke to me and said, Tell my people that 2014, my glory cloud is moving. And he said, as many that are, will be faithful with me, that will move with my glory cloud. I do not have that at all. That if you are born again, this year is your year. People will look at you and say, is it really this person? And you will say, when you wind down the glass of your jeep, it is me that jumps more lower. It's going to happen. It is going to happen. In the name of Jesus. And the Bible said in 1 Samuel chapter 17 that David basked in the euphoria of that anointing. The Philippines, they wanted to fight against the Israelites. There was a mountain on the right hand side, there was a mountain on the left hand side. Why they wanted to, to lock horns in the battle. One giant appeared, his name was Goliath, and said, We do not need to fight this battle. Pick a man to fight against me. If he defeats me, we will become your servant. If I defeat him, you will become our servant. In verse 10, Saul so made, so made a statement. He said, you see this man, he has come for nothing but to defy the armies of the living God. Every spiritual Goliath that has been turning your glory to shame, you are going to stone him down tonight. No matter who he is, any power that makes people to ask you, where is your God? Your God will answer tonight. I say your God will answer tonight. In the name of Jesus. For 40 days, this man was presenting himself. And anytime he came, he comes up. All the people that were trained to use the instrument of warfare, they will go into hiding. And Jesse called David and said, take wine, take bread. Go to the battlefront and see how your brothers were doing. And unfortunately for Goliath, as David was entering the battle round, Goliath appeared again. While everybody ran back, Goliath looked at, looked at, looked at, um, David looked at Goliath and made a statement. Who is this an uncircumcised Philistine that he will defy the armies of the living God? That native doctor that is boasting against you is an uncircumcised Philistine and is going to collapse tonight. That witches and wizards that have reported you in their coven that have turned your destiny upside down. They are uncircumcised Philistines. They will die in the order of Goliath. In the name of Jesus. And David came to Saul and said, Let nobody's heart melt, for I am going to fight this man. Saul looked at him and said, You are a teenager. This man has been a champion of war all his life. He was looking at the physical, but he does not know that physical battle does not win battle. Then David said, Thank you very much. Let me give you my own curricular vitae. I keep my father's animal. The lion came at a time. I killed the lion. The bear came at a time. I killed the bear. And he said, oh king, God, not my strength, God, not by my power, that gave the lion and the bear into my hand will give this man into my hand. 
And by the time he convinced the king, they dressed him. He couldn't walk. He removed all. He said, I have not tried this. Let me go with fasting and prayer that I'm used to. He carried five stones. And he began to charge inside of him. And he told Samuel, he told Saul, that thing that used to enter me anytime I want to destroy giant is inside of me now. This man will fall. The power of the Holy Ghost is going to come upon you. Every giant that have confronted you and, de- and de- defeated you tonight, you will defeat them in the name of Jesus. When David came out, when Goliath saw him, the Bible said he got more infuriated. Among all these giants, is this small boy. He looked at him and said, Am I a dog that you have come against me with a catapult? David said, Point of correction. You are seeing me. But there is something that is backing me up. His name is Jehovah. And I am calling against him in the name of Jehovah, whom you have insulted. And the Bible said, Goliath cursed him in the name of his God. Study that account. It was not a physical battle. Goliath was not just a giant. He has been cooked in many covens. Anytime it's the Amorite, it was, it's only this man that goes. Anytime they want to fight the Hittite, it's only this man. If they want to fight against the, Philist- uh, the Egyptians, it's only this man. Now, it is the turn of Israel. Anybody that has boasted against you, that will collapse before your eye. That will collapse today. In the name of Jesus. And the Bible said that when Goliath charged towards David, David charged towards him, he just put his hand in his, in his back, took one stone. When he flung the stone, the unprotected forehead of Goliath was not missed. And the colossus of a giant came down. Your prayer stone will not miss target today. I say your prayer stone will not miss target today. In the name of Jesus. And immediately he fell. A farmer. Somebody they have not known about before. Somebody operating on a zero level. They began to sing his song. Saul has killed his 1,000. And David is 10,000. And they carried him shoulder high. And he became a hero. The Lord is going to turn somebody's destiny. I said, it is your turn tonight. Tell your neighbor, it is my turn. Tell him again. He said, push him and say, it is my turn. Pastor is talking about me. It is my turn. Situation will change today. In the name of Jesus. One Bible account that will go into warfare. In Luke chapter 5. If we begin to read from verse 1. The Bible introduced a man called Simeon. Who was Simeon? Simeon was a fisherman. But Simeon could afford to be on the high sea throughout the night, struggling to catch fishes and will never catch one. So who was Simeon? He was under a course of profitless hard work. Who was Simeon? He was under a course of poverty. Who was Simeon? He was under the cause of disappointment. Who was Simeon? Simeon was under the cause of failure. He has failed. Because if he has gone home like that, there wouldn't have been fish in the soup. And remember the mother-in-law was there. Was in his house. He has given up hope. He was washing his net. And Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the king of kings, the lord of lords, the I am that I am. The most high God, the Alpha, the was before the beginning, the Omega, the who will continue after the ending, the one that created the heavens and the end, was there preaching the gospel. And people were coming close to him. So he did not have any other choice than to talk to Peter, say, Please push your boat very little into the water so that I can preach from there. After he preached the gospel, he came down and said, Peter, launch. Let down your net for a drought. Peter looked at the master and said, Master, we have toyed all night. We couldn't catch a fish. Master, you don't know me. I have never succeeded in anything in my life. When it's my time, the door will just lock. Master, you don't know me. I struggle so much, but nothing to show for it. But suddenly, he added something. 
the master but at your word I will let down the net may you hear and may you obey when he speaks in the name of Jesus so Peter threw the net I could imagine that he want to draw it out in a haste to look at Jesus right to say you see I told you there won't be fishes here but when he wanted to draw the net the net was heavy he attempted to draw the net the net was heavy he has to beckon on his neighbors and say, come and help me draw my blessing to the shore. They all entered the ship. The boat began to sink. The net began to break because of the multitude and the number of fishes that this man caught. And Peter went to the master and said, depart from me, my Lord, for I am a sinner. You know the meaning of that? I am not worthy of this miracle. May the Lord bypass your weaknesses. And go ahead to do what he has proposed to do for you. I pray for somebody tonight. The Lord will do something that people will know that it is only God that would have done this. So shall he be. So shall he be. So shall he be. In the name of Jesus. The net was breaking. The boat was sinking. Because of the fishes that he caught. The question is, where did the fishes come from? The same place he toyed all night. I pray for you. Every door you have knocked at that refused to open, they will open of their own accord. I said they shall open of their own accord. In the name of Jesus. Peter, that was nobody. I could imagine where they draw the net to the shore. They will look at John. They will give him five fishes. The man that would have gone home without a fish. They will look at James and give him ten fishes. Because he got many. I stand by the authority and the power that God has invested upon me. By the hand he laid upon me. I say, son, go and change the situation in the life of my children. I break every yoke of suffering I break every curse I destroy every incantation I scatter every enchantment I break every spell in the name of Jesus any power that follows you about that is chasing away favor from you I command the power come back come back come back let your favor locate you now. Receive favor. Receive favor. In the name of Jesus. Libos Kaba. As somebody here, the Lord said, between now and the end of this month, you will come in contact with two persons. And those two persons will become a destiny helper to you. Just two persons between now and the end of the month. When they come in contact with you, your life will turn around. <laughs> Lift up your voice and say, Father, any evil cage that is caging my destiny helper, scatter my destiny helpers. Locate me now by divine arrangement. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Anybody that becomes something was because of who he met at the time. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Open your mouth and pray. Talk to the Almighty God. Talk to the Almighty God. By the power that is in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lift up your voice and say, Father, any evil pot that is cooking for my sake. Whether in the native doctor's coven. Whether in the coven of witches and wizards. Any evil pot. That they are, mar- that they are using to burn his to my star. Catch fire. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Go ahead and pray that prayer. Zanda kahulia bakash in Zanda Kalika Blibo Shindakaba. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Zanda Kahali Kabli Bushindaba. 
by the power that is in the name of Jesus. By the power that is in the name of Jesus. Talk to God. Talk to God. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lift up your voice and say, Father, any problem I am carrying in life, because of the womb that carried me, because of the breast that I suck, because of the family I was born into, that is making me to be nothing. Father, let that problem be destroyed. Open oh, your mouth and pray that prayer. I can't hear you. Pray that prayer. Zanda Kahali Kabli Boshindaba. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. So shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. A sister that is wearing blue. The Lord said I should tell you that he has had your prayer. Two notable favor will come your way before we finish this fasting. I met a lady in Madrid. That was the only message God sent her. Immediately we finished that service on Thursday. The former boyfriend in Nigeria, because he didn't marry him, seized all his her landed property. What 15 million? The pronouncement came that same night. The boy, the man called him, called her, and said, I have gone to drop all your papers, all your this thing to your father in Benin. I am no longer interested. My sister was in Italy. Since so she came, she has not walked. And I called her and said, I don't know you. But Lord said, I am going to decorate you. After the Sunday anointing service on Thursday, she was walking along the road. An Italian she has never met before stopped her. I said, sister, I like you. Will you be my friend? He said, why not? The second question, do you want to work in my company? I said, yes. He said, follow me. Carried her to the guy. said, that vacant place, this is the person I want to be there. Telecommunication company, not the people that wash cl- um, plate in restaurant, or uh, people that dress bed in the hospital. The Lord will single out for a miracle. He will single out for divine attention. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and say, Father, any power that is covering my glory. Any power that is working against my star, receive thunder and die. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Go ahead and talk to the Almighty God. Talk to God, talk to God, talk to God, talk to God. Zonda Kahili Bushnaba. Bolja Sindakaba. Open your mouth. Open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lift up your voice and say, Father, every ancient chain that is tying me down to a spot, by the reason of the anointing in the house tonight, I command you to break. Oh, yeah, break that chain. Break that chain. Break that chain. That chain of stagnation. Oh, open your mouth and pray. Break it, break it, break it, break it. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Open your mouth, open your mouth. That is it, that is it, that is it, that is it. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Lift up your voice and say, Father, every power. That is swallowing my resources. I command you to die. And vomit my resources tonight. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Zanda Kalika Blibush in the Kaba. That is it. That is it. That is it. That is it. 
Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. By the power that is in the name of Jesus. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Lift up your voice and say, Father, any man or woman that is behind the problem I'm having in life, tonight, receive thunder and die. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Every unfriendly friend, wherever they are, open your mouth, open your mouth and pray. By the power that is in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lift up your voice and say, Father, starting from tonight, let my heaven of prosperity open. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. When the heaven of your prosperity opens, situation will change. Open your mouth, open your mouth. By the power that is in the name of Jesus. Talk to the Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Lift up your voice and say, Father, every spiritual Goliath that has been turning my glory to shame, every spiritual Goliath that has been stagnating my life, every spiritual Goliath that has been tying me down to a spot, today, the hand of God is against you. Receive the soul of fire and die. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Deal with your Goliaths. Yakali Kablibo Shindakaba. Zanda Kali Kablibo Shindakaba. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth and pray. By the power that is in the name of Jesus. Libo Sanda Kali Kablibo Shindaba. Open your mouth, open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lift up your voice and say, Father. Every war of Jericho that is confronting my destiny, I command you to fall tonight. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Zanda Kabo, Liaka Shindaka Hali Kablibo Shindaba, Zikali Kablibo Shindakaba, Bali Kablibo Shindakaba, Uliaba. Open your mouth and pray. 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 Zanda Kalba, open your mouth. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lift up your voice and say, Father, stretch forth your mighty hand and pick me out from the pit that the enemy has thrown me into and set me on the mountain top by your power. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Lift up your voice and say, Father, every spiritual magnet in my Father's house. That is stagnating my progress. I command you to die. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. This prayer is made for you. If you are always dreaming of, if you see yourself in your father's house, always in the dream, that is the spirit of backwardness. Something is magnetizing you back. And that is why you are stagnated. But open your mouth and deal with it now. That spiritual magnet that is bringing you back to your father's house. And it's stagnating your program, progress in life. Commander power to die. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lift up your voice and say, Father, every evil cage in my father's compound assigned to arrest me. Scatter. Aha, 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 aha. Scatter it, scatter that cage. Scatter it, scatter it. Yes, scatter it. 
Rea Kaliaba Kashenda Kalika Blibushinaba. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Open your mouth and pray. By the power that is in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Ah, as we're praying that prayer, the Lord said there's somebody here. The ancestral level covenant that has become a problem to your going forward has just been broken. Yeah. Lift up your voice and say, Father, any power holding on to my wealth, I command you to die by fire. Any power holding on to my blessings, open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. By the power that is in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus mighty name we pray. The Bible says that anytime you mention the name of Jesus, every knee bows. Of powers in heaven, powers on earth, powers beneath in the earth. We're going to shout that name and we'll close. And get ready because something is about to happen. Anybody that refuses to leave you will die. A young girl of 13 years was going back from vigil at about 3.30 a.m. Because her house was close to where they did the vigil. By the time she was walking on that lonely road, the occultic people that held a meeting in the area coming down. One of them said, who is this small girl that is walking alone? And the other one said, bring her, let's eat her. So they threw an evil arrow at her. She fell down. And the Bible fell out of her hand. And she just shouted, Jesus. She got up, carried the Bible, that was all. She went home. The leader of that group later became born again and gave the testimony that when that small girl shouted Jesus, from nowhere, hosts of angels with flaming sword of fire came and scattered them. If that name worked for that small girl, get the radio. <laughs> she called it once. We are going to call it seven times. I was ministering in Madrid. As I started to mention the name of Jesus, before we finish the seventh time, a young girl of about 12 years that have not spoken started mentioning Jesus. And that was how she began to speak. When I got to Port Harcourt, I was ministering. A man came with P.O.P. in his leg. As we began to mention Jesus, the pain left. The man that was carrying P.O.P. ran to the front. And while we were busy doing he said, Pastor, I now believe. Pastor, I believe. The Lord will do something for you that will make you believe that Jehovah is Lord. Are we ready to shout? This first seven times, as you shout this name, it will be an ambushment in the camp of your enemy. As you shout this name, any hanging blessing, every burning blessing will come down. As you shout this name, every yoke, every curse will break. Get ready for violent deliverance. Anybody can fall. Anything can happen now. That is a name that has authority in heaven on earth and beneath. Just shout it with expectation. Are we ready? One, two, three. Let's go. One. That is it. 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 There's power in that name. Yes, it's everywhere. It's happening at the right. It's happening at the center. It's happening at the left. It's happening everywhere. That is it. That is it. That is it. That is it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Aha. 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 Yes. 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 There's power. There's power. There's power in that name. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Move. Holy Ghost. Move. Let the power move now. Let the power move. Let the power move. Let the power move. Let the power move. He's moving. He's moving. He's moving. Receive. 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 Aha. That is it. Every yoke. Every cause. Every enchantment. Every divination. Break. 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 Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it everywhere. Take it everywhere. Yes. I charge this place.
was in fire. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Rakali kabri boshindaraba. I see the power of God come down like a lightning. I say the power of God. I say the power of God. I say the power of God. Wherever you are, wherever you are, the power is upon you. Receive it. Hey, that is it at the back. That is it at the center. That is it everywhere. That is it. That is it. That is it. Where it goes? <laughs> if you're breathing now, you're breathing power. If you're breathing now, you're breathing anointing. The air you're going to breathe in now is a air full of power and anointing of God. That is it. That is it. That is it. Holy Ghost. Rakali aboshin daba, rakuli aboshin dakaba. Ah, 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 ah! It's happening everywhere. 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 Say the power of God. Say the power of God coming upon somebody. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. At the wave of my hand, let the anointing flow. Take it. Yes, yes, yes. Take it. Ha ha ha. Ah, rokali aboshin daba. Yay, yay. I we ready now. I we ready to shout again. I we ready. I we ready for the last time. I we ready. The shout you are going to shout now. The Lord wants to anoint people. Power will come upon you. Oh, the glory of God will come back. There's somebody here. The Lord says, whatever you lost, there's something special you lost years ago. As you shout now. Is going to come back to you. Hand of God is about to shut people. Hand of God is about to touch people. What you'll be saying in your mind, Father, touch me now. Touch me now. Are we ready? Are we ready? One, two, three, go. Wow! Aha. Yes, 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 take it, 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 everybody, take it, that is it, that is the power, 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 that is the power. That is it. That is it. That is it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Yes. Yes. Tuck it. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. Tuck it. Tuck it. Yes. Tuck it. Tuck it. Yes. Tuck. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That stagnation is broken. It's broken. It's broken. Get ready for the last time. Get ready for the last time. Are you ready? For the last time. For the last time. One, two, three. Let's go. Yes. 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 Yes, 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 yes. The power of God, the power of God. It didn't make manifest. The power of God. 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 Take it anywhere you are. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. There's power in the name of Jesus. I said there's power in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Stand wherever you are now. Stretch forth your hand to the altar. Close your eyes. <laughs> the Lord wants to distribute some, something now. Just say, Father, I receive. I receive it. Oh, yeah. Take 
Take it, everybody. Aha. Take it, everybody. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, 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 aha, 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 any power holding you down to zero level, the power of God is coming upon you, the power that will move you up is coming upon you, it's coming upon you, it's coming upon you, take it everywhere you are, take it, take it, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, yes, 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 receive it, receive it. Every yoke of stagnation is broken. It's 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 broken. Yes, let it break. 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 Yes. Let it break. It's broken. Yes. Take it. Take it. Yes. Yes. I touch you with the hand of God. I touch you with the hand of God tonight. Yes, Lord. Holy Ghost. Yeah. Take it. Every covenant with water spirit. Oh yeah. Go. Go like that. Lake Kash and is broken. So shall it be. Lakali abortion about wave your hand wherever you are. Begin to bless his holy name. Just thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Give him glory. Give him honor. Give him adoration. Shandakaba. Put your two hands on my hand. The Lord is giving you something. A gift is coming your way. Oh, yeah, take it. Take it! The Lord is giving you a gift. Receive it! The power to get that gift. Yes. That settles it. Before the end of this month, two notable gifts. Give him glory. Give him honor. Lift up your voice and say, Father, by your great mercy, Please meet me at the points of my need. Anything you want God to do for you now, go ahead and begin to talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. My sister, the Lord said your, your, your strong enemies has been destabilized. Pause! Aha! Mm. The Lord has granted victory this day. Go ahead, talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. I see a gift, a spiritual gift. Take it. <sighs> Take that spiritual gift. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Talk to God. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. I can't afford to be in this place and go back the same. Go ahead. Talk to the Almighty God. Lord, please help me. Help me, Lord. Settle the case this day. February will not pass by. Please talk to God. Talk to God. Glory be to the holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. There's somebody here the Lord says I will open a book of remembrance for you. There's somebody here the Lord says all the promises I've made to you all will manifest this year. And the manifestation will start this month. The Lord said there's somebody here. He said, very soon, people will come to celebrate with you. There's an unusual healing in the house. Everybody that has strange sickness, anybody that has been written off by doctors, the Lord is healing now. The Lord is healing now. The Lord is healing you. So shall it be. Amen. Father, I commit your children into your hand. As they go, the Lord and his presence will go with you. Amen. Every crooked way shall be made straight. 
The sun will not smite you by day. The moon will not smite you by night. And you are going out, God will go with you. And you are coming in, God will come with you. God will command his blessings upon your storehouse. The almighty God will open unto you every of his good treasures. The dew of heaven, the blessings of heaven will not, will not cease to touch your head. You will live in plenty. Your brother will bow to you. Your enemies will submit unto you. Anybody you come in contact with will favor you. Today I stand in the gap for you. I rewrite your story. If you have been losing...